All right, this is my haul from the December of 2021 gun show. And I was here in Phoenix the 3rd, 4th, and the 5th, I think. Today's the 7th, so yeah, yeah, okay. 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Um, so a couple days ago, no surprises here. This is what I got right here. Um, get into it. Up top, we've got a VZ24, and down below, we have an LP34. So um, VZ24, if you don't know, Check copy pretty much of a car 98 um they had a license for it so they kind of made their own um when germany annexed czechoslovakia they get all their equipment and all their junk and then so for a while um a lot of kind of either undersupplied or secondary units were equipped with bz24 so you see luftwaffe troopers um like soldiers troopers whatever luftwaffe kriegsmarine uh, you can see SS, SS with VZ-24s. Um, there could be evidence with uh, VZ-24s and Wehrmachtis. I can't think of it off the top of my head, though. I know there probably is, though. Um, that's just immediately what I know, those three branches. Um, nothing is really special about this one. <laughs> it's just a Romanian contract. Um, the Germans, when they captured them, uh, I don't know if they did this all the time, but I know that at least the ones they were producing, they put their own markings on them, they changed a couple things up on the rifle, kind of made it to how the Germans wanted it, and um, that's that. But this one, really, the only, oh, there goes the camera. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Can it stay, please? Right there? No? Cool. All right, that's great. Really, the only thing that's kind of cool is a 1939 date on this. Um, and then you see that. So these two letters right here, the first indicates the batch, the second will indicate where um, who the contract is under. So B, it goes B, and I think there might be an X. There's a series of letters in between. I just know B and X at the top of my head. I know B is it the early type of production. Um, X would be the later. R would be you know the contract country, so Romania. And then serial number. None of the none of the numbers on this are matching. Uh, I believe this to be a Russian capture at some point. You can see on the stock. Um, I think they stamped their stock. You can see this stock is it's not to the same rifle. Um, it's got a later production date, XR, that type of shit. Um, I would like to say that the Germans stamped it with their own mark right here, <laughs> but I don't think that the Germans really stamped anything on their stocks. So um, wishful thinking on that part. And then you see the Russian stamp right here that matches the serial number. Um, it had a lacquer on it when I bought it, and I got rid of it because that Russian stuff is just nasty and disgusting. Um, pretty standard for the front of the mill for a VZ24, nothing really fancy. This thing is pretty beat up. It's counter. It's been counterboard, so been shot out a million times, and then fucking they redid the barrel, so. Um, I don't know if it's that much of a prime shooter, but I got it for an extremely good deal. So, not really too concerned about its shootability. It's just a piece, so not too worried about it. Down below, moving on. <laughs> Get the show on the road here. LP34, so it's a German uh, flare pistol, flare gun. Um, two types I can think of off the top of my head. There's a third one that had like 50 fucking barrels on the thing and it just looked ridiculous. I'm not worried about that. Um, two types, LP34, LP42. Personally, I like the LP34 aesthetics a little bit better. So that's why I wanted to get one. Took me a couple days at the show to find one and I found one. About market price for it. I paid about market price for it. Um, didn't really save money like on that one, but I didn't mind. I like the kind of look that it has on it, so hey, it's not the end of the world. The markings on it, um, th th this is, I don't know the good word for it, marked like this, uh, it's like a, for use like police, fire, um, like, like civil type use, but you do see um, the, the, what is it called, I guess civilian market, I guess is what you could call it, type uh, flare guns in military use, so I don't really care about that. <laughs> Uh, pretty good, very good condition actually. 
it's all functional. The whole thing works as it should. Clean barrel. No pitting anywhere. None of that jazz. Works. As it should. <laughs> um, there are a couple other gun shows coming up here soon. One on the 1st of January and then one on the 10th, I think. I'm going to be going to both of those. I'm going to see what else I can find. Um, I wasn't too crazy about loading up everything at one you know, gun show. Christmas is coming up, so I gotta gotta save money for the other people in my household. <laughs> um, take care of that. But other than that, that's that's the update. We'll have other stuff coming out soon. Um, the event I'm going to in March, the Africa Corps event, requires that we send in pictures for the authenticity check, so the event coordinators can look at it and make the determination that what we have is good or not. Yada yada, all that jazz. Um, while I'm taking pictures, I'm going to take video as well and get that DAC video taken care of so you can finally see what I've been talking shit about for <laughs> these past couple of years. Um, I'll probably take care of the lift off of Flak 1 too very soon. Uh, it's just a matter of getting off my ass and doing things. But I hope you enjoyed and uh, stay tuned in a couple of days here when the next series of Gun Show Loot comes out. Take care. I almost forgot before I leave, in a way, there's a third thing I got. So last year, I was able to get a picture with Ian from Forgotten Weapons. Now, you may say to yourself, Jacob, you know, chances of finding the guy the first time around, you know, they're already pretty slim. But finding him a second time and getting a second picture? That's impossible. Take a look at this.